So we're back here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando, Florida. And it's time for us to give you our likes and dislikes of this beautiful and huge resort. Coming right up. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you our likes and dislikes here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando. This is a huge resort, a lot of amenities, and thus we also have a lot of likes and quite a few dislikes as well. But before I jump into that, I want to let you know on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that's the kind of stuff you want to see, be sure to subscribe down below. Also, click on that notification bell and select all so you don't miss out on any video notifications when I post new videos. Okay, so I'm here at the entrance of Marriott's Grand Vista to talk about light number one, and that just happens to be the stoplight that they have here. We actually also stay quite often down at Sheraton Vistana Villages here on International Drive also. This is an extremely busy road, and they don't have a stoplight down there. And although I didn't mention that in our likes and dislikes video for Sheraton Vistana Villages, it isn't pleasant trying to turn left there. Actually, if you want to see that likes and dislikes video of Sheraton Vistana Villages, check out this link right up here. But yeah, that is one thing we have. This is an extremely busy intersection. And this is actually new just in the last few years when they started putting in condos and apartments across the street here from Grand Vista on International Drive. They put in this stoplight. So that's just one of the great things that we love here about Marriott's Grand Vista. The stoplight here at the main entrance. Okay, so I'm actually walking along Avenida Vista, which is the roadway, the driveway, that comes in from International Drive behind me back to the resort of Marriott's Grand Vista, which is quite a ways down there to talk about light number two. And that just happens to be that this resort is set back a long ways from International Drive and the main roadway. Something you will find with a lot of resorts is they're along major thoroughfares and you get a lot of road noise, highway noise, traffic, whatever it might be, but you get a lot of road noise from those roadways at the resort and even sometimes in your villa. So that is one of the things we like here. Since the resort is set back so far, you uh, essentially don't get any of that. No road noise. It is quite isolated back there. Obviously it's a huge resort, but just one of the great things, no road noise anywhere at the resort here at Grand Vista. Okay, so I'm over here now in the West Village. We have the lighthouse, main village, across the lake here behind me to talk about light number three. And that just happens to be how large this resort is. It's almost like four resorts in one. You have the four different phases. You have main village, West Village where I am, golf and club villages, all with their own pools, great pools. And yeah, we just love how big this resort is and how many different areas there are. Doesn't matter where you stay, you're gonna have a great experience here at Grand Vista. All right, so I'm just here right now outside of the main security gate of Marriott's Grand Vista to talk about like number four. And that just happens to be the proximity to the parks, to the attractions and all the fun here in Central Florida. Obviously, Grand Vista isn't right outside the gates of Walt Disney World like Royal, Imperial and Sable Palms are. But of course, it is also not as far to those attractions as Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve. And we actually stayed at Lakeshore Reserve recently, and it was quite a chug to most of the attractions here in Central Florida. And if you want to actually see videos about Marriott's Lakeshore Reserve, I have a whole playlist. Check that out right up here. Whole playlist, all kinds of videos about that resort. But we do like that here. Essentially, you can go straight down south on I Drive, International Drive, here in Orlando, and then as soon as you get to what is essentially World Center Drive, you make a right, and that brings you straight on to Disney World property. We find that is the easiest route, at least for us. You can, of course, also go north, and then go across Central Florida Parkway to I-4, but the traffic on Interstate 4 is somewhat unpredictable. You could get stuck in a traffic jam where you're very unlikely to have that problem if you go down International Drive. But that is one of the things that we like here at Marriott's Grand Vista. Okay, so I'm now over here in Vista del Sol in the West Village at Grand Vista to talk about like number five. That just happens to be all of the pools here at Marriott's Grand Vista. They have a ton of pool options. 
six pools, four different pool areas. You have West Village, you have Main Village, Golf Village, and Club Village all have their own pools, and there are just so many pool options. So if you're looking for a great atmosphere, kind of more of a party type atmosphere, head over here to Vista del Sol in the West Village, or even the Main Village. They always seem to have the music really loud there. But if you want a more quiet and relaxing time around the pool, check out Golf Village or Club Village. Smaller pools, but a lot quieter there as well. So it's just one of the things we love. All of the pools, great pools here at Grand Vista. Okay, now I'm over here in the Club Village section to talk about like number six. And normally I'd be in the area where these are when I'm recording these likes and dislikes. But they have background music playing. YouTube does not always like background music. And they're actually pretty busy. But that is actually the hot tubs. They have a lot of hot tubs here at Marriott's Grand Vista. Large hot tubs. All of the pool sections have several hot tubs. At least the two big ones do. The other smaller pool areas here at Club Village and over at Golf Village, they just have one. But the West Village and Main Village, you will find several large hot tubs throughout those areas. Okay, so I'm over here near the boathouse at Marriott's Grand Vista to talk about like number seven. And that just happens to be the water activities that they have here at this resort. They have a number of kind of electric powered boating activities, fishing poles, you can rent fishing poles even, or even bring your own fishing poles. And another resort that has quite a few water activities on their lake is Marriott's Cypress Harbor, also here in Orlando. And if you want to check out that video about their activities, I'll put a link to it right up here. Even though we might not take advantage of these water activities all that often, we like that they offer them here. Definitely a great thing to take advantage of during your stay here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando. All right, so I'm over here on top of the uh, rooftop terrace here of what is essentially Copa Loca Bar and Grill to talk about like number eight here at Marriott's Grand Vista. I'm in West Village in the Vista del Sol pool area here. And like number eight just happens to be all of the food and beverage options here at the resort at Marriott's Grand Vista. You have essentially, they have a full service restaurant here, the Grill at Grand Vista, out beyond the main entrance. And then also here inside the resort, they have Copa Loca here in West Village. They also have Grand Cove, kind of a bar, restaurant, slash marketplace where you can kind of get some grab and go items as well. So really do like the food and beverage options here at Grand Vista. They have quite a few where a lot of resorts may only have like one restaurant, one bar. This resort is so huge, so big, and they essentially have two, one in each of the sections here and then that full service restaurant out front, the Grill of Grand Vista. So that's just one of the things we like here, all those food and beverage options. Okay, I'm not at the beach, but I'm actually at Grand Vista's beach here to talk about lake number four. And that just happens to be the proximity to the beaches that you have here at Grand Vista. And really this goes for just about any resort in Orlando, but I do want to make sure I point it out for at least one of those resorts. You have Cocoa Beach on the Atlantic coast, probably less than an hour away. Then you have the Gulf Coast beaches just a little bit further to the west here from Grand Vista and from Orlando. So that's one of the great things. If you get tired of the pools and you get tired of Grand Vista's sandy beach here, they call it Sandy Point, then you can head to any of the wonderful beaches here that Florida has to offer. Okay, so I'm now over here in the club village of Marriott's Grand Vista. Talk about like number 10, and that just happens to be lots of parking. It's one thing we've never really had a problem with in all of our stays here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando is finding parking. Now, you might have some problems if you're coming back late at night after everybody has returned from the parks, but it's just one thing we've never really had too many problems with, finding parking spaces. We love lots of parking here at Grand Vista. Okay, so what was that, 10 likes? I actually have one more, but we have to head into the villa to talk about that one, and we have a bunch of dislikes in there as well. But before I do, I just want to ask, if you're liking this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. And another thing you can do to help them out is to share these videos. Perhaps you're coming to Grand Vista with your friends, with some family. Be sure to share this video with them so they can check it out too. 
And also, if you want to see more timeshare content, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell because really, that's the only way to ensure you're notified whenever I post new videos to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. All right, so let's head on inside. We're going to talk about like number 11 right up next. All right, so I'm now here in the master bedroom of our two-bedroom villa at Marriott's Grand Vista to talk about like number 11. And that just happens to be the large desk that they have in the master bedroom. So if you're in a two-bedroom, a three-bedroom, or even a one-bedroom villa here, you're going to have this great large desk. And in this new day, this new age of remote work, it is extremely helpful and extremely great thing to have here in these villas. A large desk, you can set up your computer, you can work there in your villa, and it is just great to have that extra space here. So maybe you're not having to sit on the couch and use your laptop from the couch while you're sitting there, or even set up on the dining room table it is sometimes also a bit of a pain. But having these desks here, these large desks in the master bedroom, is a great thing here about this resort. Okay, so I've jumped back up here to our villa to talk about the dislikes that we have of Marriott Grand Vista here in Orlando. And the first one just happens to be that there's no real pantry here in these villas. Now, as I understand it, some of them do have kind of a small pantry area, but this one actually does not. For whatever reason, when they built these villas, they did not install pantries. However, what they have done actually though is, since probably a lot of people complained about no pantries, they did install kind of this armoire kind of thing. I don't know what you call it, just a little closet, cupboard, a standalone kind of piece of furniture here in the entryway almost where you can put some food items and whatnot so that kind of does work out but unfortunately no built-in pantry they could have had something else here that may have been a little bit more useful for some other purposes maybe a shelf with some plugins where you can charge some items but yeah no real pantry here just one of the things we don't like too much about this villa okay now I'm here and essentially what is the laundry room or the laundry closet here at Grand Vista and in our villa this laundry closet this door here is essentially right off the kitchen right beside essentially the oven the countertops the fridge is also right here so that's just a little annoying that they have a laundry room right off the kitchen somebody's in here trying to do some cooking trying to do some cleaning well and somebody wants to come and do some laundry they kind of have to get around each other. Now I understand some of the villas may not be set up this way, but that's how ours is. And we're not too big on having the laundry room, the in-room washer and dryer, right here essentially in the middle of the kitchen. Okay, we're still here in the villa, and this is where most of our dislikes actually are. We'll be jumping back outside to see one more here in a little bit. But the other one here that we have in this villa, number three, just happens to be the decor. This villa, it's kind of plain. There's nothing really special about the decor. We've been to Marriott's Grand Ocean Barony Beach Club, and they've done some fabulous renovations there. And this just kind of seems to be a cookie cutter design that they have here at Grand Vista. Nothing really all that inspiring. Those other villas are fantastic. And even down the street here at Sheraton Vistana Villages, they did a fantastic villa renovation in their Amelia phase. And if you actually want to check that out, I did do a before and after of that. You can click on this video right up here, a before and after of the renovations at Amelia. All right, so I've jumped out here to our patio to talk about dislike number four, and that just happens to be these patio doors. Even the windows in the living room, they seem to be very thin and not very soundproof. And as you can see, we have a pool view, and in the evenings and even during the day, they play a fair bit of music and there's obviously also thin patio doors and even very, not very soundproof, windows in there. You do get a lot of noise in the villa. And also keep in mind that the pools here are open till 11 p.m. So if you need a quiet villa and you're a light sleeper maybe and you want to go to bed early, consider asking for a non-pool view room, maybe a lake view or even a golf course view. So keep that in mind. These villas these doors, these windows, aren't very soundproof here at Grand Vista. Okay, so I'm in here in front of these to talk about dislike number five, and that just happens to be these annoying towel trackers. These are a system that they've installed here at Marriott's Grand Vista, where you essentially walk up here 
you have to scan your room key and then you can get out any towels you need and then when you're done you return them here apparently what it does is it tracks what you take out and it tracks what you put back in now maybe they have a lot of problems with towels going missing I don't know these towels are pretty cheap not very good quality and if you don't return one they charge you 25 bucks so it's just kind of one of the annoying things why can't I just come in here grab towels and put them back when I'm done I guess some problems are though a lot of people just leave them laying everywhere and anywhere and then staff has to come along and pick them all up and clean them up so just one of the kind of annoying things one of the things we don't really like here at Marriott's Grand Vista a lot of the other resorts you just come get what you want and you put it back when you're done okay so there you have it what we like and don't like here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando Florida and if you like this video don't forget hit that thumbs up button and if you want to see more videos about timeshare check out the description box below and for another video about Marriott's Grand Vista check out this one right up here and YouTube they think you're gonna like that one down there be sure to subscribe you can do so by clicking on my picture right here hit that notification bell and until next time remember the best destination is always a timeshare